know when you're in a relationship you have to be submissive to the other partner but do not waste yourself one of the main thing you have to do is love yourself first so My name is Sean Mirigi. In this episode, I will be telling, I'll be sharing with you tips that I've learned about how to deal with past pain. Myself, I'm trying because I've been there. I've been a victim, but now I'm a victor. I'm trying to deal with the past traumas, the ones that I've been through. And I was shocked to hear that there are even women who are narcissists, like wana kukalia vibaya sana. But at some point, I manome kukaliwa ina kuanga ngumu, manome kukaliwa ina kuanga ngumu, unless unapenda wewe dem. Na mapenzi ndo inafanyanga mtu anaonekana ni kama amekaliwa, ikwangi kukaliwa I guess. Mtu anaweza kaliwa ni dem. Ama you comment down below if kuna manome anakaliwa like kukaliwa. We, do we call it kukaliwa? No. I guess ni mapenzi. If 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 a man loves you, he can do anything for you. He can go miles to to make you happy. To try fit in your shoes, he can go out of his way to help you. Any ni atam hey love. I tell you, love from a man is unconditional. When he can do anything for you, he's a full man for you. If he can go out of his way to help you, he can hustle out to help you. Kabisa kabisa support your dreams. Na akufanishi kazi zenye. Tuse me kama ya kuwa. Ataki ati umfulie ngo ati mbona ujafua na kushautia uko kichwa ni peke yako na haja kuosa hiyo ni boyfriend maybe mnaishi pamoja that is not love na hakupendi jamaa mwenye haja kuoa but he's giving you wifely duties that is not the right man for you that guy doesn't love you boyfriend mwenye anakupenda na kuna ficha na wewe atajaribu msaidiane kila kitu hata kuachia ati mizigo so as much as we are saying we have to deal with the past pain we have to consider some factors kuna venye eno sikubali kutumika na juu unampenda mbaya lakini we si we si fala so, updated for like 3 years and it was a one relationship my first and <laughs> it was toxic yes this goes to my ex kuma nyako kuma nyako kuma nyako a special kuma mbuzi to you bomba clad mina tafine pimpi na pina pina dirada mulabe ndo so i would like to tell you that one of the things to deal with that past pain is prayer. Another thing is therapy or counseling and accepting that it happened and this person is not the same as this person. We know we say that men are like they were born by the same mother because some they have a common denominator. Like you see, there's something something that they have in common. And as much as we are saying we have to forget the past pain and overcome it and move on there's this fact that this guy did the, did that to you and hurt you and then you you're so careful with the next one so that they can't repeat the same mistake or you can't be hurt the same way you know you can't like ni kama upiti hapa ukatwe and then kuliko uondoe hiyo kiswa hapo usongeshe unapita tu hapo tena si utakatwa that is the thing so we we tend to like change our character it is not our, supposed to be like that like we change our character to fit in the shoes of the other person thinking that they are the same with the other person with the ex but it's not the case i think there are some things that we need to change we don't have to do them the way we did before but other things do not have to change for example if you dated a guy in campus i was talking about campus dating so you dated a guy in campus and they they mistreated you they were narcissistic and you feel like other men also will treat you the same nani kama ukianza ku date narcissists unapata langana wao karibu wote they treat you the same like no one values you ningine ni kama ni kasa i wonder what is happening like kuna feel ni kama uwezi pendwa yani you feel like that one of the main thing you have to do is love yourself first put yourself first and then other things will follow 
you know we say a relationship is about the other person but first of all deal with yourself you know before i didn't love myself by the way after that breakup it's when i i learned self-love now i love myself so much like you can call me selfish whereby i'm allergic to fake friends i'm allergic to fake things you know I, and i want that honesty that, like everything transparent when you're in a relationship you have to be submissive to the other partner but do not waste yes. yourself if you have self-love i guess other things will just flow yeah and accept the other person is not the same as this person but there are those values that you you have to put in place and principles that you have to put for yourself so that you cannot fall in a trap that you fell last time and be wise this time in it our kuchanuka like once beaten twice shy but again do not mistreat this new partner thinking that he or she is the same as the other person but partner yeah. and let us be wise let us open our eyes and to know that relationships can work you just have to be wise a little bit wise yeah and i guess there is no magic that is needed for relationships to work they can work if you feel like something is toxic just walk out walk away now see to me mtu tafadhali to not use someone money unajua unaweza tumia mtu roho like unaweza tu kana mtu ku pass time but pesa you know unajua eri eri hurt mtu kama hujatumia pesa yake unajua kuna ile watu usema oh alini hurt break so you, you didn't even spend a coin for on on him or her so kuanga unangoja hurt break kusidhani ati kuna mtu atakuvumilia forever no just be prepared for a hurt break and know that nothing lasts forever ukuange tu na hiyo mind ya mnaweza achana but i'm fine una get if something is not toxic just solve mnaongea hiyo story naisha but kama mtu kuna vitu unafauchanuke usitumie vibaya this is it for the video please know that this is my advice from me to you be wise usikubali kutumiwa so thank you so much guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please make sure subscribe like share and comment and i'll bring you more lit content i want to empower youth let us empower each other personally i'm not a motivational speaker empower me too through the comment section let us discuss our thoughts yeah i'll see you in my next episode bye